You know, I remember a race with James Stewart, and I think it was Unadilla in 05, yeah. uh-huh. and I think it was the first year he was on the big bikes. When and he landed on me? Yeah, you went back, I think you tipped over once I in did. a corner. I did, And then you came back and passed him again, mm-hmm. and there was some big downhill, mm-hmm. step down type of jump thing, and, and, and he, he landed on you, Oh yeah. crashed, and his lifeless body is on the ground, and you get up oh, and your hands not- are like, like, what the hell are you doing, you know? I was. And then you take his bike, which is kind of laying on your bike, and you just like <laughs> flipped it over like it was a 10 speed. <laughs> I did. And then you just got back on your bike and took off, and I thought like, th- you watch that exchange and you go, okay, these guys are on a different level of humanity right. than I am. Like, you're literally standing over an unconscious person going, you idiot. That's exactly what I said. What I was really pissed about more than anything on that is two things. I was pissed off at myself that I fell early on in the race because I was starting to pull away a little bit from him. I'm like, okay, I got this. And I made a stupid mistake. So I was mad at myself for that. And then I had worked all the way back up and I caught up to him. I kind of set him up, I passed him, I didn't close him out or anything like that. And then we go down this hill, and then the next thing I know, I get landed on. And when that happened, the first thing I'm thinking of is, dude, I just, I didn't do anything bad when I passed you. I passed you with respect, clean, good racing, and you just freaking took me out. What are you doing? Well, then I went back and looked at the footage, and. I didn't close him out, but I took the line that he was going to take, and he didn't anticipate that, which, you know, as we race much more after that, I think we we would anticipate what our next moves were going to be. So he just didn't didn't anticipate what I was going to do, landed on me. He knocked himself out, and luckily nothing happened to me physically. It kind of messed up my bike a little bit, but so that's what what happened. I was just pissed that he, you know, I thought he had just was being careless in it. What was the conversation with him after? I mean, do you talk to him after? Never talked to him. Well, he left the race because he got knocked out and he left early. You guys he never had a conversation call, he, about he that? He called me, I think, the Thursday after and he just said, hey, man, I would never land on you on purpose. I didn't mean to do that. I said, I, he said, he said, uh, he just, I just said, I know you didn't. I said, I appreciate you calling me. I said, I didn't think you were going to call me. You know, it's Thursday now and you hadn't called me yet. I was, uh, was kind of bummed, but I said, I really appreciate you calling me. 